What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> it is time to go to the Pokemon League. And I made uh, two switches, Moko and, uh, Moko and, uh, who was the other one? Oh, yeah, uh, Evil Bacon have been taken out for Nessie and Sharptooth because, uh, well, in this adventure right here, we're going to be needing Rock Smash and Waterfall, and, well, this is the only Pokemon I trust that can learn uh, Waterfall, so yeah, we might as well do it. So let's go straight to the Pokemon League. In our last episode, we defeated quite a few trainers, got our Pokemon strength up, and you know, you know, you, we, we becoming badass Pokemon trainers and all that stuff. So all you need to do now is go straight to the uh, what was it called to Victory Road, and I'm gonna keep on putting on a Max Repel because I don't want to get attacked by Pokemon. Now you go to right here. And this guy's going to be like, this is the entrance to Victory Road. Only Pokemon trainers who collected all eight badges may pass. Your total number of badges is one, two, three, four. Wow, you have all eight. Well then, allow me to test your abilities. Oh, well, I completely forgot about that. So here we are taking on uh, Ace Trainer Robbie. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Carbink. Yeah. I, I didn't see that one coming, so let's go right ahead and go straight for a Psychic Attack. And Psychic does its trick. Here comes a Stealth Rock Attack, and uh, well, you know, yeah, the Stealth, yeah, yeah, we got we got some Stealth Rock on us. So now, if we make a switch to a, another Pokemon, this uh, will hurt it. So here we go, Psychic at again, and uh, just like that, we are victorious. And well, here comes a Kingdra. All right, Kingdra, I'm going to take the risk. I am going to go with Nessie right here. It is a risk because, well, it is a... Oh, crap, Basket. It doesn't have an Ice-type move. Yeah, we're going to yeah we're gonna take some damage. Here comes Kingdra. And, uh, well, it is way over-leveled. Crap, Basket's on a crap... Oh, you know what? Screw it. Very strong. And here comes a Dragon Pulse attack, which is not going to be super effective. But it will leave us with 5 HP. Okay, so yes. It's going to faint in three turns. Now, if this Pokemon Trainer is smart, it will, uh, what was it called? Uh, it will defeat me like that. It will switch out to its next Pokemon. So let's go straight for our good old buddy, Blade. We're going to take some damage. And here comes a Dragon Pulse attack. This right here is going to hit us, but our defense is going to hold it up. And so it got... It is two, uh, two, whatchamacallit, uh, it's two, two, uh, two turns. So we're going to go to stance change, and this right here will reverse our, our, our stats to attack. And there we go, a little sneak, and here comes a scald attack. This will most likely burn us, and, well, our defense has gone down. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go with an iron head attack right here. And, well, he was smart. Oh, my God. So here he comes out with a Raichu. Here we go. And the Iron Head hits it. So let's go one more time with an Iron Head. And here comes a Thunderbolt. And that will mess us up. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go straight for Jordan the Goat. And, uh, well, let's see. We're going to get... We're going to go with an Earthquake attack. I believe we can beat these guys. But look, 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 look at this. Thunderbolt attack hits us. Doesn't It's not very effective. But here comes Earthquake for the win. And there you go. Raichu defeated. That's right. You didn't see that one coming, huh? No, you didn't. Okay, so there we go. Level 66, Jordan the Goat. And, well, Sharptooth grows to level 44 without doing anything. And here comes Kingdra. I'm going to keep it with uh, Jordan the Goat right here. And, well, let's go with an Earthquake attack. Alrighty. Kingdra is usually a very, very, very strong Pokemon to just try and take down. And this guy has Ice Beam? What the heck? Oh, my God. Okay, so it got lucky. Let's go with another Earthquake attack. Kingdra. Time to be defeated. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay, so we have one, and Nessie grows a level six, uh, 32, and is learning Ice Beam. Wow. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and take away Paris Song because, well, yeah. There you go. 
So there it is. We have learned Ice Beam. Nessie is looking like it's going to grow quite a few levels while we're going up here. You and your Pokemon have tremendous power. Keep on surging into your future. Okay. Alrighty. So let's, uh, he's like, fantastic. Allow me to say it one more, uh, once more. Fantastic. May the, ro may the road you and your Pokemon follow be filled with the joy and success. Ah, okay. So this is the reason to why we, uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, items right here because we need to revive our Pokemon. And uh, do not worry, guys. Off screen, I will be reteaching some moves to some of my Pokemon right here because, well, yeah, we kind of need to be more strategic going into this Pokemon League battle. And yes, we're going to be using up all our super potions because, well, they their use for us for 50 HP is come to an end. And well, let's go ahead and use this. And Jordan the Goat is now... Okay. All right. So let's go into our future. Look at this. The banners of every single Pokemon gym that we have defeated. And if we go right here, look at that. May I say this is probably the coolest uh, area of the Elite Four Victory Road and all that stuff. Look at this. Look how it forms. Holy crud. Look at that. And... Uh, that is very creative. Super creative. Okay, time to follow into our future. Like I said, guys, you you need Pokemon with, uh, what was it called? Rock Smash, Surf, Waterfall, and Strength. Be aware of this because there will be a lot of trainers here that will try and use different kinds of moves and everything. And, well, I just want to say, yeah, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna repeat that. We're just gonna we're just gonna defeat these Pokemon trainers. So here we are taking on Ace Trainer Alonza, and she is coming out with the Weavile. Look at this! Finally, something off the bat. So here goes Star Fox. All right, Star Fox, time to do it. Time to get it. Time to go. Flamethrower attack for the win. There we go, Flamethrower, and Weavile has been defeated. Okay, so that was easy. That's pretty easy. Okay, alrighty, so me and my Pokemon are victorious and all that crud. Let's move on to the next uh, the next stage right here. So again, you need a Pokemon with Surf. And luckily for us, we have Jordan the Goat. And let's go right here. And, well, yeah, we, we're going to be taking on quite a few trainers, guys. It's, it's part of the whole thing, but this is a prime place to actually get your Pokemon uh, nice and, uh, you know, leveled up and all that stuff. And, well, look at this. We are taking on a Steelix. Holy crud. Yeah. Steelix is looking pretty mean right here. But look at this. Flamethrower attack. For the win. Yeah. Still a Steel-type Pokemon. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All righty. Look at that. We're getting some more points. Nessie grows to level 33 without doing anything. And here comes a Kangaskhan. Let's go with Nacho Libre. Yes, you will be finding some interesting Pokemon in here. Steelix is one of them. Kangaskhan's another one. And, well, go ahead. Bring it on. Let's go. Straight for a high jump kick. And there you go. High jump kick does its trick. All righty. Okay. So Nacho Libre gets some points. Sharp Tooth without doing anything. Grows a level 45. And here comes an Electrode. This Pokemon will be defeated with by Jordan the Goat. The Goat! Yeah, Michael Jordan is the Goat, guys. You can debate me on that. So here we go. Taking on Electrode. And, well, let's go straight for an Earthquake attack right here. And... Well, it's our special attack has gone down, but this right here, yes, Earthquake attack. Wait, is it special or physical? It doesn't really matter. And look at that. Benz has been defeated, yes. Now, there will be plenty of items around here, guys, so just uh, keep, keep that in mind. Make sure to use a Surf, Rock Smash as often as possible. You will get, you know, maybe a hidden item here and there. There will be the chance of you getting attacked by a Pokemon. And look at this. We got ourselves a pearl, which is great. And, uh, well, let's move on to the next stage right here. And, uh, yeah, you know what? He has he has fighting-type Pokemon. I got a psychic-type Pokemon in the front. Come on. Come on. You know me, guys. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Black Belt Marcus with a K and a U and an S. 
And he is coming out with a Machamp. This Pokemon right here is just, you know, jacked. Friggin' jacked. Okay, Psychic Attack. Let's do it. Psychic Attack does the trick. Machamp defeated. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay. And we almost go a level right there. Nacho Libre without doing anything. Level 65. Huh. That's always fun right there. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing right here. Uh, let's see. There might be an item here or there. Just be aware. And, oh, another fighter type drainer. So we're, we're, we're in for battles. And, yes, yes, we're, we're going to be battling trainers here and there and whatever. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty, let's go. So she's going to be coming out with her version of Halucha. So let's go with Star Fox. The MVP of this whole area right here. Let's go. Psychic attack. And the psychic attack does the trick. Look at that. Halucha defeated. Okay. All right. And bam. Look at this. Star Fox grows to level 68. And everybody else is getting points, including Nessie herself. Or himself. I don't even know. Mind Chow wanting to take us on. So let's go right ahead and continue on with Mind Chow. And... There we go, Psychic Attack. There you go. Mineshell defeated. Okay, is Mineshell Weasel a lemur? I don't even know what it is, but it, it looks pretty unique. Okay, so there you go. We have defeated another another black belt, and I don't think you're gonna find any kind of anything of importance. Uh, make sure to bring a lot of repels, guys. Max repels are highly, highly recommended right here because, well. There are going to be a lot of Pokemon. A lot of rare Pokemon, too. Like Zvelis, I think. Okay, so we're in the outside. Be aware, guys, that you will be attacked by a flying-type Pokemon if, you, um, if you're if you walking down here. So just keep an eye out for any kind of flying-type Pokemon that might swoop onto you. And, well, we're going, to be, we're going to be taking on a backpacker, Farid. And he does have himself, you know, a Haxorus. A very, very powerful Pokemon right here. So, it... What we're going to do is we're going to make sure we burn it so its physical attacks become, uh, well, become weakened and all that crud. And here comes Assurance Attack. Super effective, but because of its burn, it's not as effective. And, well, let's go straight for a Psychic Attack, see if that this works. So here we go, Psychic Attack. And look at this, Haxorus defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Sharp Tooth grows to level 46. Jordan the Goat, level 67. Yeah, buddy. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so let's see. Let's move on again. We might get attacked by a Pokemon swooping onto us. Just be aware of that. And, uh, well, let's see. There might be an item here or there. No. Uh, there is an area right here. There, a person that you can talk to that will heal your Pokemon automatically. So just... You know, if you guys are not in, in, a, in a bad situation, like your Pokemon are dying and all that stuff, you know, refrain from using your items. But right here, you know, whatever. So here we are taking on Medichan, a Pokemon that is both psychic and, what, psychic and fighting type. So we're going to go straight off the bat with a flamethrower attack. And here comes Thunder Punch. Not so effective. Well, it is effective right there. So here we go. Flamethrower attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All right. So that's another one. We get some more points. And Sigrid has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So what's next? We have to jump through these the, the, these uh, ledges right here. And, well, let's see. If we go right here, we're going to be going towards this area. And you're going to need a Pokemon with Strength in order to go through here. If you use a Pokemon with Rock Smash, you're going to be going around the ledges and everything. And thankfully, no Pokemon has tried to attack us. And, well, let's see. Nothing right here, except you can move around. Move around the ledges, and it will take you straight towards this area right here. Which, uh, yeah, we're going to use another Repel. Go right here. Not right here, but let's jump over here. And this one will lead us straight towards this exit. 
And this is towards the side of this whole Pokemon Victory Road thing. And like I said, you're going to get swooped on by a Pokemon. And as you guys can see, you're going to find yourself a Fero. Now, imagine if it would have been a shiny Fero. Oh, I would have been freaking out. I would have. But thankfully, we're going to escape because we don't need to battle that, that Pokemon right there. Uh, let's see. You can't go through here. But if you go here, it's going to take you towards another cave. And bam, you're going to find yourself the TMO3 Psyshock, a very powerful psychic type move, which, uh, well, I could teach you. I could teach you my Pokemon, but we're going to stave off with all that stuff right here. And we're going to go with a full restore, going back to Star Fox. And let's go right back up and see what is going on. Let's go right ahead and uh, get back to it. And, well, let's see. Going right here, going right here, going right here. And let's jump this ledge right here. And we're going to go back up towards this area. And it looks like to me... We go right here. No, actually, that was a... Uh, yeah, we're going back in a circle or a, a rectangle or some sort. And we're going to go back into this part right here. Yes, we're going to be skating. And we need... Yeah, we need to beat these Pokemon trainers right here. So, yes, there is a karate guy right here. All right, let's go. Here we are, taking on Black Belt Ander. And he's going to be coming out with his Pangoro. I could have had a Pangoro. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, I could have had a Pangoro. So, here he is with the Mold Breaker. Now, comment down be below, guys. Tell me what the Mold Breaker does. And, oh, crap baskets. Yeah. Completely forgot Pangoro was a Dark-type Pokemon. Crap. Okay, so we are not going to survive this one right here. So, let's go right ahead and go with Nacho Libre. Yes, we can use Fly Attack. We can use some kind of fighting type attack or something. All right, Nacho Libre, how's it going? And here comes a crunch attack. Not going to be super effective. And, well, let's go straight for a fly attack. Let's go. Fly attack right here. And bam, the biggest body slam you'll ever see. Pangoro has been defeated. And there you go, Star Fox. And Nessie grows to level 35 right here. And here comes a Heracross. So I'm going to just stay put. Heracross. Another Pokemon that, you know, I could use right here. Now, one of the things that I, I, I loved about Generation, I think, 6. Yes. Generation 6 is the inclusion of the mini Pokemon from the other generations. That's why, like, when I played Pokemon X, I, I included one of every region. And it was a very diverse team. If I... If I could do this all over again, I would try a new team, especially with the inclusion of Heracross, because it's one of my favorite Pokemon from the Johto region. And we're going to grab this. Found ourselves a Carbos. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. Nothing. Right here. Nothing. Right here. Nothing. Okay. Let's move. Let's see what we can actually find. We need to find a... Well, we need a... Yeah, we need a... Okay, so we need to move... How in the heck do we get it around here? Just let's go ahead and use another uh, Rock Smash. Or not a Rock Smash, but a uh, what was it called? A Repel? Okay. So, let's see. We can't move that, but we have to go up here. And let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because... Yeah, Star Fox took a licking. A huge licking around here. And what's going to happen is... I am going to switch out my Pokemon. Let's go straight for Jordan the Goat. And, well, let's see. I'm gonna battle this guy. He's a psychic type trainer. You don't need to say a word. I can tell that you're here because you want to challenge a strong opponent. Well, it is true. So here we are taking on Psychic William and he is coming out with an Espeon and well Espeon is looking pretty legit right there. So let's go right ahead and use uh, our good old buddy Jordan the Goat. Let's go straight for an Earthquake attack and Future Sight. Oh crud. Okay so this we got, we got to beat this guy quickly. So there we go. Earthquake attack does its trick and well let's go straight for a Strength attack. And... Well, that right there is proving to us that, yeah, it's proving to us that, yeah, uh, Espeon's a little bit faster than our Pokemon, so 
There you go. We have defeated Espeon. How's it feel to fail? All right. Okay. And William has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So let's see. Let us move on right here. And yes, we need the strength technique. So let's go ahead and use that. And well, let's go ahead and press this whole thing. This big old boulder right here. Funny thing is, guys, I can't wait to get to the Alola region. Uh, the HMs are no more. That's when they started to just take those things away. They saw how, like, necessary it was just to use these guys. So, can't wait for that. And, well, let's go straight for Star Fox and our good old buddy Nacho Libre. And let's do it. Let's battle these two people. I'm going to teach you a lesson. People call us strange for being more interested in perfecting our teamwork than challenging the champion. You know, there should be a double battle championship somewhere. So here we are taking on Armin and Hugo, and well, they're going to be coming out with a... Uh, wow, okay. I see. I see. And, uh, well, let's see. We're going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with Gallade because this Pokemon looks... Yeah, it looks... Looks like it's ready to go. And, well, let's go with uh, Will-O-Wisp on one uh, another Pokemon. So, here we go. Fly attack. Will-O-Wisp onto Metacham. So, yes. You are now burned, my friend. Here comes a Night Slash. And, yeah. Holy crud. And here comes... Yeah. Okay. So, we're doing our thing. Here we go. Let's get it. How about we go with a Flamethrower attack to Metacham. And here comes the, fl the Fly attack. That defeats Glade. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. And there you go. Nacho Libre. Level 66. Star Fox. Oh, yes. 69. Giggity, giggity. And, well, Star Fox is learning a new move, and that is Future Sight, which I'm not going to teach it because even though it's powerful, it takes a while, and uh, I'm not really, yeah, not a big fan of it right now. So here we go. Flamethrower attack for the win, and Metacham... Has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Nessie. Grows to level 36 without doing anything. And Sharp Tooth. Look at this. Level 47. And it's learning Earthquake. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm not going to take away Strength or, yeah, Rock Smash. You know what? Let's take away Thrash for just right now. Alrighty. Let's go. Sharp Tooth. You're looking pretty buff right there, homeboy. And, well, that right there. That right there is a victory for us. So now we can move on into this bridge area. And, well, let's see. There's nothing right there. There might be something here. No. Nope. We are going to go up the hill. And uh, there's another exit. And this one will lead us straight towards this part. And, uh, well, I remember this part. I remember this part. Now, you guys do need Rock Smash for this. So we're going to break this wall with Sharp Tooth. And this area will hold an item for us, and that is a PP up, which, uh, yeah. Yeah, that will uh, bring up our PP, whatever, PP, and all that stuff. And, well, let's go ahead and grab these, nothing. And, yes, we're going to use another repel right here because we're going to have to go back into a cave at some point. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this girl. What you looking at? You think I'm doing, uh, I'm just doing this fairy tale uh, girl thing for funsies, do you? Get a taste of my power. Ah, well, we're going to get a taste of your power. So let's go ahead and take on Kareen. And she is coming out with an Azumarill right here. And yes, I have Nacho Libre. It is weak towards fairy type Pokemon. I just realized that. But I do have Poison Jab just to, you know, fend off these fairy type Pokemon. So here we go. Fairy type Pokemon move. Nearly defeats Azumarill, but it is poisoned. That right there will help us a little bit and uh, well nacho barely escapes with his life there you go poison helps us yeah buddy all right so we get more points and well let's see florgus is coming in let's go with uh yeah let's go with Star Fox right now it may not be a f a grass type per se but it's still something so here we go Star Fox how's you going and Let's defeat Florgis, or Florgis, or Florgis. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but here we go. Flamethrow attack, and that nearly defeats this Pokemon. Here comes a Moonblast. Not so effective. 
Let's do it again. Flamethrower attack for the win. And Florgis, Florgis, I don't even know how to pronounce its name. It survives or it, it loses. And, well, there you go. Kareen has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All right. So that's one down. Let's go ahead and not battle this Pokemon trainer with, uh, you know, a weakness. Let's go with Blade. Or I could have used, uh, you know, Sharp Tooth. Okay. I can see your aura. It's got an unlucky color about it. Really? What, 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 hey, guys, what is a lucky color? Comment down below. So here we are taking on Rezaya, and she is going to be coming out with a Gorgeis. A Gorgeis or Gorgeis or Gorgeis. I can't even pronounce it. But here we are, Blade. Okay, Blade. Night Slash. And here comes a Bullet Seed attack, which uh, not going to be effective because of its stance change. So yeah, it's yeah, it's hitting Steel. Plain old Steel, okay. All right, stance change. Here it is. Bam. And, well, here comes its uh, Night Slash attack. Almost uh, almost defeats Gorgeis. And, well, here comes a Flamethrower attack. It was waiting for that. Holy buckets. Okay, and, yes, we are, we are now burned. Wow. So here we go. Another one. Night Slash for the win. That is how you do it. All righty. All righty, all righty. And, well, Blade grows to level 65. And Rezaya has been defeated. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. There is an air, an, an individual. This is the individual. You talk to her. She's gonna be like, Victory Road is a tough, a tough is tough. Rest up a minute. And well, there you go. Our Pokemon are now healed. This is usually where I like mistakenly heal my Pokemon with some of the items, and then next thing you know, I feel like a dummy just because it's like, well, I didn't know that. So, let's see, um, now that I know what's going to go on, let's move on right here. Let us go right here, and if we go into this section, we're going to find ourselves a quick ball. That right there is a very good Pokeball for the quickest Pokemon and all that stuff. And, well, let's move on, and, well, Draven, wait a second. Well, hello there. Mm, 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 mm. I've been thinking. Uh, I've been thinking ever since all that trouble in Geosange. Lissandre chose only Team Flare. You and I chose everyone but Team Flare. But since our positions forced our hands, you can't really say any of us were right. That's why I felt that. If both sides have something to say, maybe it's best uh, we meet halfway. So I made a decision. From now on, I don't want to battle just to win, but to see how you and your Pokemon think and feel. That's the kind of bad Pokemon battle. Uh, that's that's uh, the kind of Pokemon battle I'm going to have to, uh, with you right now. Whatever you say, baby. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're taking on our girlfriend, Serena. And, uh, well, she's going to be coming out with her Meow 6. She does have five Pokemon, guys, so be aware of that. And we're going to go with Blade. And, uh, well, let's go with a Night Slash. And Meow 6 right here is going with a Shadow Ball. And thankfully, because of our defensive stance, we we do have an advantage of, like, you know, take, tanking that move. But, unfortunately, going into the offensive stance leaves us wide open for a special attack. So, we're going to have to be switching out pretty soon here. And Nessie, without doing anything, grows level 37 and is learning Brine Attack. I'm not going to teach you that. It has two good uh, water type moves. And, well, here comes Flareon. Okay, Flareon, how's it going? Ah. You know what? Let's go with Sharp Tooth. Yeah. Sharp Tooth needs to earn a little bit of this money right here. So here we go. Sharp Tooth. It's back to business. And she's going to be coming out with her Flareon. Ten levels above us. All right. Let's go Earthquake Attack. And here comes a Bite Attack. Ah. Uh, your measly little, uh, measly little jaws won't do anything. And here comes Earthquake Nearly defeats Flareon, so let's go again one more time. Earthquake, and here comes a bite attack. Yeah, we're tanking this. There we go. Earthquake attack. Jurassic Park for the win. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. And, uh, well, Sharp Tooth grows to level 48. It should be roaring right now, just like in the Jurassic Park movies. And Jordan the Gro Goat goes <laughs> grows to level 68. Let's go with Jordan. The goat. Just a win. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. 
So, Greninja is a Pokemon right here that, you know, we all love. Kind of, I, I kind of just feel bad that, you know, well, it, it sucks for me to watch it on the opposite side because, well, you know, I love using it. So, here we go. Leaf Blade. And that will take care of Greninja. Greninja is probably one of the best water type starters ever and stuff. And, well, here comes Altaria. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. Let's go with Nessie. We're gonna we're gonna try something here, guys. I know it's a, it's a bit it's a bit too much because it's level thirty seven. But guess what? I believe in Nessie. Let's go with an ice beam and hopefully it freezes it. So here comes a confide attack. Of that uh, okay? What is that? Oh wow! So it knew what we were gonna do. Ice beam attack. Come on, freeze it. Yes, it's frozen. We are lucky. All right, let's go, Nessie. Do it. You are frozen solid, my friend. Okay, so here we go. Ice Beam. Yeah, okay. Let's go again. Look at this. Oh, it thought out? How the heck did it thought out? Oh, my God. And here we go again. An Ice Beam attack. Come on, Nessie. And it does it. Throwing out the peace sign. Yes, I am the greatest trainer ever, guys. <laughs> And because of that, it gets a lot more experience points. And, well, here comes an Absol. So, let's go right ahead and use Nacho. So, my two biggest gambles, and I succeeded. Oh, man. I feel very, very good about this. So, here goes Absol. And let's go right ahead and go with a high jump kick for the win. And, uh, well, say goodbye to Absol. Yeah. All right, and just like that, Nacho Libre grows to level 67. And, well, Nessie grows to level 38. Serena's just looking. She's like, how in the heck did he beat me? So I still can't beat you. You know, it's because I met you that uh, that I was able to get this far. Well, our journey is not over yet. Who knows how strong we'll get? Whatever you say, baby. I will follow you to the ends of the earth. Okay. Cute dialogue right here. It's hard to put a finger on it exactly, but I feel like you and I are alike. And that's why I didn't want to cl to lose to you. But I think the reason we're so alike is because we have so many things in common. I'm really happy that we're friends. And, well, yeah, being put in the friend zone is whatever, guys. <laughs> we get ourselves some mechs revised from her, and she's like, I'm renewing my rivalry with you. Since you are my rival, I want you, uh, want you to become stronger and stronger Pokemon trainer. And we'll keep getting stronger too, of course. I suppose the first step is mastering the power that comes from the bond between me and my Pokemon, just like you did. Do your best at the Pokemon League. An awesome trainer like you can handle it. Get yourself a girl like that that will compliment you like that, guys. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon again because, well, yeah, your boy needs to be healed. He needs to be healed pretty good. Okay, so there it is. We are healed. And, uh, well, there might be one or two things that we can grab right here. Yes. Let's go ahead and use Rock Smash. Yeah. There you go. And we're going to grab this little sucker. And that is a Zinc. That right there will help us out. And, well, no, we can't go there. And, uh, well, there is... Oh, yeah, you can... Yeah, you can go down, down, sliding down there. So, let's go towards the final portion of the Victory Road right here. And... Well, let's see. If you go down here, that is a shortcut. If you go up here, you will be finding a Pokemon Trainer. And, well, I'm going to show you that shortcut right here because, yes, I, I intended to do that. Not really. Let's see. We're going to go right here. And... This one will take us straight right here. I know that there's an item right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep on battling, guys. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and do this. Okay, so here we are taking on veteran Inga. And she will be coming out with a Talon Flame. So we're going to go with Blade. Unfortunately, I am not using Blade right here because, yeah, that's, uh, that's a big no-no. So let's go with Nessie. Let's go ahead and take a, uh, a risk right here. So, here we are. Nessie, how's it going? And, well, here comes Talonflame with a, a Flare Blitz. Not so effective. But it 
yeah, it, it hits us pretty hard. So we are not going to beat this Pokemon right here. Screw it. Yeah, it has quick attack, and there goes Nessie. Well, I was asking for a little too much. I got a little too cocky, but let's go with Sharptooth. Okay, this is me getting a little too cocky again. All right, Sharptooth, you know how it is. Let's go with an Ancient Power. And here comes a me first. What the heck? Uh, ain't... What the heck? Ow. Okay, so... That is a very strategic. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Let's go with a crunch attack. And uh, Flare Blitz yet again. I think we're... Oh, wow. Yeah, we're getting our we're getting our butts kicked. And well, there goes Sharptooth. And what do you have to say for yourself? And yeah, the recoil. Okay. I didn't want to do this, but I had to because I, you know, I had to. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and use a psychic attack. Stop being so fast. Here we go. Psychic attack for the win. And there you go. Talonflame has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And welcome to the level 70 club, my friend. There it is. There it is. And there it is. And, well, Inga has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon because, well, you know. That's what good trainers do, right? Right? Okay, so we bought ourselves quite a few uh, revives. I get it. We have max revives, but those are for the tougher battles right there, guys. And, again, we're not going to be using these uh, these Pokemon that we replaced in the Pokemon League because, well, they're just here for their TM or their HMs and all that stuff. Yes, they are HM slaves. I'm sorry. They've been relegated. And, uh, well, if we go down... Damn it! Okay, so that was uh, not the best idea. And... We're not going to go there because there's a Pokemon waiting for us. Let's go right here. Oh, crap baskets. Okay, I didn't really want to battle this guy, but I have to. All right, let's go. Bring it on. Okay, so we're taking on Pokemon Ranger Ralph, and he is coming out with a Crobat. So we're going up against some pretty strong trainers here at the, at the end of this Pokemon League, or Victory Road. So let's go with an Iron Head attack. And here comes X Scissors. Not effective. Yeah. We can tank it. And yes, you are hurt by our Rocky Helmet. And... Well, let's see. There we go. Iron Head does its trick. And we're going to go with a Shadow Sneak just to be first to hit this Pokemon. So here we go. Shadow Sneak for the win. There goes Crobat. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay. So, Ralph has been defeated, and, uh, well, our Pokemon are getting points, and, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with, uh, you know what, Star Fox, because, you know, it's, yeah, it's our powerful Pokemon and all that crud. And, yes, let's use another Max Repel. Grab this item. Found ourselves a Max, or a Full Restore. And, well, this one will lead us straight up here. To this guy, holy crud! Vet, 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 veteran, veteran, all the way. So, what do you think about my theme song? Now it's time for battle. Ah, ah, okay. So here we are taking on veteran Gerard, and he will be coming out with a bayonet right here, ghost type Pokemon. And uh, well, Frisk, you gotta love the Frisk attack right here, Frisk. Ability. Let's go with a flamethrower attack. And, well, here we go. Flamethrower. And just like that, Bayonet has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Blade grows to level 66. And here comes a Leafeon. Okay. So this is uh, easy work, you know. Easy work. Let's go. Flamethrower for the win. And there you go. Flamethrower does its trick. Leafeon has been defeated. You know what's just a, you know what's just a shame, guys. There hasn't been a new evolution in quite some time. We've already gone to like what three, three extra, three extra generations. Yeah, we've gone through three extra generations since the last evolution, and yet we haven't gotten one, an extra one. I mean, it would be nice to see one, quite possibly in the next generation. 
And as I am speaking right now, the Pokemon, uh, what was it called? Uh, the Pokemon YouTube has announced they're going to be announcing some kind of deal on um, on the 28th. So hopefully they'll announce a new Pokemon game or new typing or whatever. I, I, I'm excited. I am. Hopefully not another generation, guys. Maybe just maybe just a remake of a, of a new game. I'm hearing Pokemon Black and White uh, will be getting a, a, a remake. They're up for one. Uh, in fact, I'm hearing it's Pokemon Black and White 3. If that's... The, it, it's never the name that we, we think of, guys. They're probably going to be thinking of something... Uh, something pretty lame or whatever. I don't even know. But hopefully it's not in chibi form because, trust me, chibi form was not the thing. It was not the thing at all. And... Uh, Honestly, the remakes that I am look I am most looking forward to are the Pokemon X and Y remakes, okay? I've said it before and I'll keep on saying it again. They left this game they left this this game in, in, in shambles. It was incomplete, like nobody's business. Um, heck, they went straight to Pokemon Alpha uh, like Pokemon Auras like and they didn't give us a third game. None none at all and it, it's just a disappointment right there guys. It it just sucks that, you know, we didn't get a, uh, a third titular uh, uh, game and stuff. Giratina, no, it's not Giratina, but Zygarde deserved a, you know, some kind of lore or something like that. Or we needed a little something extra. So, I don't know whose fault is that. I don't know who got lazy. That needs to happen. That needs to be fixed and all that stuff. And as far as I'm concerned, I feel as though that when the gen, when, uh, what was it? When these remakes come out, I, I hope... I'm kind of hoping that they come out with, like, what what was it? Uh, a Pokemon Legends game of, you know, the Great War and all that stuff. Because we still, we're still hearing about the war, but we, we haven't seen anything else. That's my take right there. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then go right ahead and comment down below and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. Let's go. Taking on Ace Trainer Michelle. And she's going to be coming out with a Macargo right here. And, well, Star Fox is a, you know, is a fire type Pokemon, but it can handle its own against this guy. So let's go Psychic Attack. And that nearly defeats the McCargo. So here comes an Ancient Power. Hits us pretty good. Let's go again. Psychic Attack for the win. And there you go. McCargo defeated. Alrighty. Okay. And there you go. Nessie grows to level 39. And here comes a Sizor. So, you know what? Let's continue on. Same deal. Let's go with a Flamethrower attack. And there we go. Scizor has been defeated. Scizor or Sizor? It's Scizor, huh? Yeah, it's Scizor. For those who I've offended because I butchered names, I don't apologize. It's just me. Anywho, you guys have heard me read. It should be a surprise. So here we are towards the very end, guys, and uh, right here, you're going to be needing a Pokemon with uh, Waterfall in order to get to this spot right here. Once you get up here, you're going to be able to find yourself maybe an item or two. Yeah, good patch of grass. Yeah, you're going to be finding something here. So look at this, going right here, and crap basket, you're going to be finding yourself a trainer. Oh my god. These trainers never end, and here we are taking on Hiker Corwin. And yeah, he's coming out with a Torkoal. I think I had a Torkoal in my team at some point. Yes, I did. So let's go, Psychic Attack for the win. And Torkoal has been defeated. Yes. Yeah. And here comes a Golem. So let's go right ahead and go with Jordan the Goat. Jordan the Goat. Okay. Alrighty. Jordan the Goat. How's it going? Golem. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go with Surf Attack right here. So here you go. Surf Attack. Coming your way. And Golem uses his Sturdy. So he just... It, yeah, it survived. And here comes a Heavy Slam. Oh, it hits us pretty hard. And... That doesn't do anything. So let's go right ahead for another surf attack. And there you go. Another victory for us. Yes. 
And there we go. 69. Good old Jordan 69. Okay. And, uh, well, Corwin has been defeated. And that right there gives us some more monies that we need for different things. You know what? Maybe off screen I'm going to buy myself some extra uh, TMs or HMs. And God dang it! Not TMs, HMs. I'm talking about, like, uh, yeah, just TMs. And would you look at that? We're taking on a Skarmory. Yeah. Skarmory, you need to come to us. I think we had a Skarmory. Yeah, we did have a Skarmory on our team at one point. I think we called it Skyblade. Ah! And it has a Sturdy. So, that right there is a good thing. Screw it. Let's go ahead and capture it. Skyblade. Welcome back. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. We don't want to... Uh, yeah, we don't want to risk it because Skarmory's back then, maybe even now. Yeah, like right now. Very rare. And here comes an Automize attack. This guy is like... Holy crud. Speed rising becomes very nimble. Let's go again. Ultra Ball. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, stay in there. Stay in the ball. You know you want to be with us. Come on. Hello, Skyblade. Okay. Alrighty, so we have another Pokemon right here from a different team. And uh, Star Fox grows to level 71. And, uh, well, let's see. Skarmory's uh, info will be going into the Pokedex. And as you guys can see right here, Skarmory, the armor bird Pokemon, both steel and flying type, despite being clad entirely into, uh, in iron ar hard armor, it flies at, at speeds over 180 miles per hour, which is pretty cool. So let's go right ahead and go with uh, Skyblade. Yes, another Pokemon from a previous uh, generation right there, making its way right here on Dragon Ball Z. So there we go. Skyblade has been captured. And has been transferred over to the PC. And let's go ahead and grab this item. And here we found ourselves a TM02 Dragon Claw. Very good Dragon type move. Let's get the heck out of here and not get swooped on by a freaking bird. Oh my god. Let's go. And. Well, let's go ahead and use another Reflect right here. Or not a Reflect, but Repel. And we're going to go down. And from here, we're going to go into this cave area. And from here, we're going to be making our way towards the very end of the Pokemon League uh, Victory Road. And yes, you're going to be getting attacked by maybe three or four Pokemon trainers. Each one of them has freaking two Pokemon, which is annoying. And would you look at that? He's coming out with a Trevenant. And, well, Star Fox, how's it going? And, uh, well... Let's go right ahead and use a flamethrower attack right here. Flamethrower for the win. Man, this is a long episode, and, uh, yeah. I, normally, I would probably go for, like, two episodes right here, but, yeah, you know, this, this, this is a, this is a, this is probably a, you know, this is probably a good, whatchamacallit, um, a good week because it's five episodes, Victory Road, and then leading into the Pokemon League, which... I will be doing the whole league in its entirety. And here we are taking on Gigalith. And are you serious? Good God. Come on. Let's get it. Leaf Blade for the win. And it might have Sturdy. So, yeah, it does have Sturdy. God dang it. I hate that Pokemon. Here comes a Sandstorm attack. Oh, my God. These guys will not let me live. Okay, so here we go. Leaf Blade for the win. And say goodbye to Gigalith. All right. That's right. You didn't feel it? Okay. There you go. And Nessie grows to level 40. And Sharptooth grows to level 50. Look at that. Did you see? We do things. We do a lot of things. Okay, so before we finish off, I am getting a message. So let me see what, what's going on here. Okay, we're back. And, well, let's go ahead and continue on right here. Like I said, there's about three or four trainers that you're going to be battling. But the, all of them have two Pokemon each. So it's just, uh, you got to be patient. If you want to, go right ahead. And, well, he, she's coming out with a Glaceon. I'm going to be coming with Star Fox because, well, yes, Star Fox is awesome. And we're going to go straight for a Flamethrower attack. And just like that... You are defeated. Oh, yes. Okay. 
And, well, let's see. Nacho Libre grows to level 68. And here comes a Snorlax. So let's go right ahead and use not this guy, but Nacho Libre himself. And, well, let's go. Going up against a Snorlax. Now, that's a bulky Pokemon. And, well, how's it going, Snorlax? You looking pretty great right there, pretty fit. You look like you lost a few pounds that you're probably going to gain back, but still. And here comes a high jump kick for the win. Say goodbye, Snorlax. And, well, there's more points for us. And Veteran, uh, whatever her name is, has just been defeated, which is great. Okay. Let's move on to the next trainer. And... To cap off your string of battles, I want you to come at me with all your might. Okay. Alright, let's go against uh, Veteran Giles. And we're going to be going up against a Skarmory, which, you know, we just captured recently. And... Well, let's go with a Flamethrower attack. Let's go with that. And, uh... Well, look at this. Sturdy saves it. And I'm getting text message. I'm sorry, guys. Theater. There we go. All right. So, let's go again. Flamethrower. Yes, I'm getting message because, yes, I'm about to go out. Have some fun. Yes. And there you go. Star Fox defeated yet again. And, well, here comes an Alakazam. So, let's go straight for Blade. And, and, uh, well, let's see. Alakazam, I do have, wait, I could have traded for an Alakazam or something like that. Probably, I don't even know. So, let's go with a Night Slash, and here comes a Shadow Ball. More than likely, that's going to lower my special defense. Yeah, it does, because, yeah, that's my, that is my thingy. So, there we go. Let's go with a Night Slash attack, and that will uh, defeat Alakazam. And just like that, Blade has grown to level 67, and everybody else has been uh, getting some points. And here comes Ombreon, so let's go ahead and finish off with Nacho Libre. Yes, we are giving you everything we've got. So let's go. And, well, let's see. Here comes Ombreon. And let's get it with a high jump kick. Let's go. High jump kick. For the win, Ombreon doesn't survive. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. And Nessie grows to level 41 without doing anything. And yes, Giles has been defeated. Please tell me there's not another battle. Because if there is, I'm going to go crazy. Oh, thank God. Okay. Alrighty. So here it is, guys. We are in the Pokemon League. This is where it all... Well, it's all going to end, well, for our kind of our main adventure right there. So, anywho, in the next episode, we're going to be going through the whole Pokemon League. That means the Elite Four and Champion. Thank you guys again for being very patient. Thank you guys again for uh, being supportive as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Walkthrough. See you guys.